JavaScript objects let you store multiple pieces of information in a single variable. In this way, objects are similar to arrays. One difference is that arrays use a number or index value to access an array element, while objects use a key or property name to access a property value. For example, if you had an array named cities, you would get to the first element using an index value of zero like this. Let's look at an example of student object with name and age properties. There are two different ways to access the value inside an object. First, you can access the value of the name property like this. You can use the same type of square brackets you use with an array, but instead of providing a number, you provide the property's name as a string. There is another easier and a more common way to access properties of an object called dot notation. You don't need square brackets and you don't need to put quote marks around the property name. You add a dot after the object name followed by the property name. You can use either the brackets or dot notation to access a property value, but you'll find that dot notation is more common and that's what I'll use in this and upcoming lectures. Since an object is used to store properties and values, one way you might think of an object is like a container or a package of data. The properties are like a collection of variables contained inside the object. This helps keep related data group inside one easily accessed unit, which simplifies handling and maintaining data. All right, let's look at an example. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Objects. And then open the index.html file in the browser. Here I also open the JavaScript console. In the index.html file, remember to link access.js file. In the access.js file, we'll find the object you created in the previous lecture. It has five properties with different types of values like strings, numbers, boolean, and array. Let's try to access the data from this object. I'll create a new variable named message and assign it to template literal. Inside the backticks, I'll add the message. Remember, the dollar sign curly braces inserts or interpolates a value into a string. Now I'll use dot notation to access the full name property and insert its value into the string. The name of the object is student, so to access the value of the full name property, I'll type student dot full name. I'll also display the message in the console. I'll save the change. Refresh the page. The message, hello, I'm John Smith, displays in the console. Notice how the object property works just like any other variable. Let's access another property and display it in this message. Inside the back ticks, I'll add comma and space after this. Comma, space. Then type, I live in space dollar sign curly braces student dot city and period. I'll save the change. Refresh the page. This returns the message, hello, I'm John Smith, I live in Helsinki. 